Hello, my name is Liberty Model No. W84IT. That's right. Okay, okay, okay. This is Way For It. And happy Black Friday. Happy Thanksgiving to you. Hopefully, you enjoyed your family. Um, let's get into this. So, I've got my own trading room now. I make trade calls through the day. I teach people how to use my indicators. I make my own indicators. I have some that are complicated like this, and I have some that are just normal. Um, but I give you a package of them. I teach you how to use them, and uh, we find trades together. Uh, the last two trades I took, just to be clear, uh, Wednesday, I walked a trade uh, from start to finish, probably over 85 bars. I talked through every single candle. I'm, I'm a trade talker. <laughs> it's, a, it's a new classification, but uh, I'm a trade talker, so I actually will tell you what the candles are doing as the, the market's moving. And so we talked through 85 candles of up and down price movement. And of course, we didn't let it fall back, but I, I talked my people into staying in the trade and that it wasn't going to come back on them as far as they thought. And I told them where to put their trade or their stops um, to be safe. And we, we went one contract and it was, it was a hard $1,300. It wasn't, it wasn't like the easiest one because I had talked through 85 candles, but um, normally I find a thousand dollar move. It's, it's, it's over and done within like a couple of minutes, but this was probably about an hour long, but we did it. And it was before that moment is when I realized the most important thing about trading, and I've been saying this, but I didn't really like live it, right? And I know because I would go in, I'd blow up my PA accounts, I'd blow up my evals, um, I'd make stupid trades, I'd pick at the market, I'd get caught you know, trading and chop, and you know, making too many trades, and you know, I just repeating the same bad habits over and over again. The things that I've, the bad habits I learned from being in the club that I was in because I had trade trade calls all day long, um, and they didn't focus on this stuff, you know. And they just they just yell at you and tell you that you're not supposed to do this, but then they don't tell you how to get over it, right? So I left. I made my own trade room, right? I've got my own indicators. I do things the way I want it. I, I see the market, be, you know, in a different way because I had my accident. I have acquired savant syndrome, which caused me to paint instantly. I was painting portraits overnight, and um, the same thing that caused that is the same thing that got me into trading. I can it was just I can tell that it was the same kind of feeling and so i just see the things i just see things differently but anyways i use that knowledge to code indicators using chat gpt which is a whole nother skill set i've got about 100 indicators now all the indicators you see on this on this is mine um i convert them over to trading view as well i look at i make Option calls now too as well. Um, back into options, which I was very successful in. I went from 500 to 7,000 in like two three months. Um, 500 to 4,000 in like three months. Um, both times the government theta crushed the market and uh, ended up losing uh, half my money uh, both times. So I got really disgusted with it. And that's how I ended up going into futures. Well, I'm going to tell you right now. Whatever I was using when I was I was mildly successful in options before is primitive compared to what I've learned since I've been in the futures. Um, plus I got all my new indicators that I've made now. Um, the reason why I make the indicators is because I want people to be able to see the market the way I see it. And I want to be able to look at all the information that I'm seeing, but not have to sit there and analyze and die, you know, dissect it per candle. Um, so I make the indicators to, to, to sum all that up for me. So it's very visual. And then I can just make my decisions based off that. Cause I know like this means this. So, Anyways, I'm pumped because, again, the thing that I realized was, I'm going to tell you, the last two trades was $1,300, which was the 85 bars I talked my way through, and this one this morning at like 8.55, I called a trade, and I believe one viewer was on, and he jumped in and on it, and we both made $1,500 on that trade. Um, I saw it, and I was like, oh, this is an entry right here. Boom, get in. Boom, gone. Um, I mean, 15 minutes later, it was over with. It was uh, done for the day. But what I keep trying to get at, and I keep going, I sidetrack myself, or I'm just trying to make sure that you understand, is that the, the thing that I've learned that I knew, but I hadn't really lived by, is market intent. Market intent, if you know market intent, that is 
godly in the market. That is everything in the market. I, it doesn't matter what system you're using. If you're using fairy value gaps, I don't care. I don't believe in them. I mean, I see them, and I, I'm most a lot of my trades are, are kind of the same kind of thing. But I don't I don't use all the technical BS. You know, it's all visual for me. Um, but it ends up being the same thing. Even like uh, Fibonacci numbers, all that stuff. I mean, it's it's all great. I don't use any of those numbers. That's too much. It's too much thinking to be trading. You want to be logical when you trade. Then you need to find a way to do it that you get all the information you need on the fly in just one look. Boom! I see it, and you take and you act on it. Or when the trade sets up, you act on it. And so that's what my indicators do: is it it gives you all the information so that when the trade sets up, you see it, you act on it. And I'm improving it. So the group of people that joined that support me, you know, if you believe in me, if you believe in like my, you know, you've been following me with my art, you know me from high school, or you know me from the car business, or whatever. Uh, and you've been following me because you know after my accident, or you've been following me because of my trading, or you're just interested in getting in trading or whatever. Support me. Twenty five dollars a week. Black Friday special. Let's go. Twenty five dollars a week. Join in. I'll give you my indicators. Come and go as you please. I'll make trade calls for you if you communicate with me and let me know, and not just sit there and be quiet the whole time. Right. And, and, and I understand like where you're messing up. I will help you be positive in your accounts. I will call trades for you to be in on. All I ask is that you have an account that you only trade with me. So that way, if it's negative, it's my fault. Right. It's my fault that it's negative. And then we can, we can make it, we can fix that. You know, that's something that we can look at and fix and we'll put a plan together and make it work. But if you're sitting there trading it nonstop and you're blowing up the account, that's not my fault. That's not something I can help you with. I can't help you with that. If you're just sitting there pressing the button over and over again and see that's the stuff that we got to break and here's the thing the reason why you're pressing the button like that over and over again is because you're picking at the market trying to find the right entry so that you can be right you don't have to be right you know my mentor told me this and he and he gave me some valuable information right he said and he he's, he makes a million dollars in, in futures and he's just so disgusted with it. he's done it for so long he doesn't even want to talk about him but he the last advice he gave me was this he said scott it's like there's two ways to be in the market. One is to be right. Okay. It's to know what's going on in the market, to know, to be right, to be right, to be right. Right. Two is to make money. And he's like, Scott, I like making money. I don't care what you see. And then I said, like, I'm not being rude, is what he said. He goes, but it's, all I care about is, are you making money? I want you to make money. And I'm going to tell you right now, if you've been trading, there is, if you've gotten to a certain level of success, your psychology is going to get the best of you. If you don't have somebody that supports you and understands what you're going through, that can pick it out for you and, and get on you about it and hold your feet to the fire. If you don't have somebody that's saying, hey, you're doing this, you're up, you know what I mean? If you're not, if you don't have somebody doing that, you're not going to get through it on your own because you're going to make exceptions for yourself always just so you could be right ah uh, the market's trying to get my stops no it's not you're getting in in the wrong place you're you're trading in the chop you know ah uh, the market's being shit. no it's not being shit. it's you you're getting in in the wrong places you're trading in chop you're, you're, you're hitting the button too many times you're not waiting for the right setups some days the best trade is not to take a trade at all and some you just got to be able to call that out you know, and that's why we need to diversify. If you're sitting there trying to pass evals all day long and you keep blowing up your PAs and everything like that, and you're just spinning your wheels, man, you got to take a step back and change it a little bit. Get into options. Options are easy. They're emotionless. You can be completely logical, make a sound decision. And I'm going to tell you right now, the stuff that I teach you, you put it on a still chart that's not moving, you know, 100 miles per hour. Dude, it's child's play. It's absolute child's play. Okay. The average win rate on an option, a regular option, a regular call, and a regular put is 15 to 25%. It tells you on there. It tells you on there. Look at the delta. It tells you. Okay? But I was still winning. I was still making good trades. And I wasn't even using half my brain. I wasn't even using a part of my brain. You know, when you compare what I was trading before I got into futures and how I was uh, finding my trades and stuff like that. 
garbage. Now, add all the stuff that I know now, plus move all my indicators over there. Man, you, we are going to be seeing fire. It's going to be fire. I'm telling you, I'm on a whole nother level right now. Like, I'm not trying to pat myself on the back, you know. I'm not trying to get you. I don't. I like helping people. Anybody who's been following me because of my art and everything like that, I told my story because I wanted other people to understand that they weren't alone. That you know, seventy percent of the of the world is going through some type of depression, right? Anxiety, depression. Uh, a large portion is, is is dealing with TBIs, and it's an unseen nightmare that people just don't understand outside of your head. They just don't understand it because they can't see it. So they think you look fine, so therefore you must be fine. No, they don't understand you. You're stuck in a job because you're you've been working nine to fives and and you can hate your life, you know what I mean? And you wish you could find a way out of it. You know, I get it. I've been there, you know, and you're too afraid to take the risk to get out of it. Dude, take an hour a day. Take 30 minutes a day. Devote it to learning this. Let me teach you. Start trading. Free yourself of all that stuff. Give your family the, the life that you dreamt of giving them, that you deserve to give, that they deserve to have. That's what I'm saying. Stop dealing with the bullshit. Excuse me. Stop living the lie. Stop being a corporate number. Join me. Join my group. It's $25 a week. You fucking come and go as you please. I don't care. It's $25 a week. If you can't, so you can't just give up $25 to, to learn something that can make you thousands daily. I don't know if I can help you then. So I'm not some, you know, group like Liberty that's saying, hey, I want to take $300 of your money, you know, and tell you that you have an elite package and then give you some bullshit, you know, training courses that you can look over that have been pre-recorded and then, you know, maybe give you like a, a couple of free sessions, you know, and hope that you'll be able to, you know, you just, and then tell you that you need to sign up for more because you can't do it in one session. And you spent like a couple thousand dollars for these free coaching sessions. But, you know, what happens when you still aren't trading better? What if you just don't mesh with the coach, which happens? Not everybody will mesh with you. I get it. You know what I mean? I've been there. You're not going to gel with everybody. So you're going to spend $1,500 to learn how to get personal training from somebody who's going to spend maybe an hour with you at most, uh, you know, once or twice a week, three times a week, maybe whatever, until all your sessions are gone. And then what? What do you have to show for it? You know, the, the amount of people that are successful after something like that are none. <laughs> maybe one out of like 100. It's a gimmick. Dude, I don't need your money to be successful. But I want to help people. And that's why I used to tell my story all the time because I wanted to help you. I want people to know that they weren't alone. And right now, I'm telling you right now, if you're stuck in a freaking nine to five job and you hate your life and you secretly are just acting like it's cool and everything, it's going to bite you in the ass. It did it to me. When I had my accident, it bit me in my ass. I thought I was fucking happy. I had everything. I had everything I wanted. I had a freaking floor to ceiling windows, concrete floors. I was on the third floor. I was overlooking downtown Raleigh. It was one block away from downtown. I mean, I had a pimp apartment. I mean, it was modern, too. I had a low platform style bed. I mean, I had artwork on the walls. I mean, you know, I had whatever car I wanted. I probably had seven cars in the last a year and a half's time, you know? And they were all two-wheel drive, manual shift, uh, rear-wheel drive uh, vehicles with uh, two doors. And they were all like sports cars. I mean, I had everything. Dude, I was a serial dater. I would go, to go on dates back to back to back to back. I was disgusting. I'd worked out twice a day, you know, and I was jacked beyond jacked. Disgusting. I was a piece of shit. I'm not going to lie to you. But that's the shit that happens to you when you're living a fucking lie. Excuse me, but It's all going to come to an end. You're going to find relief in one way or another. And sometimes the most effed up way to find relief is, is what's going to happen because it's the easiest way to find it. And so 
I wasn't a model person. I was a piece of shit. I'm not going to lie to you. I cheated on my wife. You know, I'm going to tell you right now, I was not a good person. I had my accident. I woke up one day after my accident. I went to bed one night, woke up and I was a completely different person. And I was disgusted with myself. Absolutely disgusted. What do you do? I'll tell you what I did. I sat there standing barefoot in my sweet ass apartment, looking out the windows, overlooking downtown and spiraled and downward spiral. And then I contemplated every decision I ever made in my life, disgusted with it. And I decided, fuck this, I'm not doing this ever again. I'm never going back. I'm never doing this. And I tried. I tried going back several times. I failed because my brain would not let me do it. And then I had a vision. You know, I saw the market and I saw something and it dragged me in the same way that the art did. And, and I was hooked. And that was the answer. I knew that I was going to be getting information in my dreams overnight or somehow the information was just going to be innate in me as soon as I touched the mouse to the chart. And it did. Here it is four years later. I'm just now learning the biggest lesson that I've, I've of, of my trading career, market intent. I know this is the most roundabout way to go about this. And this is the longest video ever. And I get it, right? But this is a life lesson, right? This is a life lesson. Even if you're not that person and sitting in a nine to five, but you are a person who's trying to get into trading and you have been trying and trying and trying and people are saying, hey, give me this, give me that, spin this, spin that, spin this, and I'll help you with it or whatnot. Bullshit. They're not helping you. They're not helping you. All right? They just want your money. I'm asking for $25, right? That's for my time and my effort to put into these indicators so that you can see what I see, right? So that you can catch the trade calls that I call. Because that is a matter of respect. That's the only reason I'm asking for it. I don't need it. I don't want it. I don't even care. But for me to understand that you're actually serious about this, you have to put forth an effort. You have to do something. Because you know what I'm tired of? Is I'm tired of people joining and just sitting there and taking trade after trade after trade, hitting the button while I'm trying to teach them how to freaking find the right trade. And all I hear is them taking trades left and right. And I'm like, what the fuck am I doing here right now? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm passionate. Yes, I'm ill. Yes, because I want people who want to learn. And so that's why I'm making this video. And if you're not that person, then just ignore this. I don't care. Delete me off of your Facebook or whatever it is, wherever you find this video. I don't care. You know, I've not been on Facebook. I can't tell you in how many years. So I don't care if I get followers. I don't care if you're my friend, I don't care if you like what I have to say. I'm letting you know that if you think that you're alone out there, that you're the only person failing, that you're the only person not making money, you're the person that's suffering in your job and nobody else understands you, you're going through a traumatic brain injury. Nobody understands you. You know, if, if you just hate your life, period, you're going through a bad breakup, you need a change. You want to add a little extra money so that you can put your kids to the cause that they deserve to go to. You want to take your wife on a fucking cruise, you know, around the world or, or go visit some country or whatever, whatnot, but you never could afford to do it. And you were just, just thinking, you know, well, maybe I'll get that raise a year or two from now for another dollar twenty-five, and that'll be enough to maybe help me send me, you know, to give me enough to go over, you know, to go to Italy or something like that. Dude, fuck that. Are you kidding me? The way that we spend money in America, there's no possible way that you're going to be able to save up money to do all the things that you want to do. We live in debt. We are raised from birth watching commercials to put ourselves in debt. We are bred to be on debt. Our government deems it so. And if you don't believe that, look at your bank accounts. <laughs> Look at your friends' bank accounts. Look at everybody's bank accounts. The only people that aren't in debt are probably our parents because they live in a time when they didn't have all this garbage that we have, right? But look at our poor kids. They've got the worst of it. They might not even have Social Security by the time they get our age. So I'm going to tell you right now, if you're looking change, pull out some pocket change and send it over here. Join up. 
spend some quality time learning how to do something that'll better your life. If nothing else, just shake it up a little bit. Shake up your life a little bit and do something different with yourself. Stop hating yourself. Stop holding it in. Stop being whatever it is that you're being. Do something different. That's my best advice for you. Am I always this passionate? No. Do I yell at people? No. I do get pissed off if I have to repeat myself over and over and over again. That does get on my nerves. I'm going to tell you that right now. But I'm, I'm not an angry person. I don't, don't yell at people. So if you want trade calls, you want to learn something different, you want to better your life, you want to send your kids to that college they want to go to, you want to take that cruise, you know, or go to a different country on a vacation, you want to get away from your freaking job and actually actually really be able to spend time with your kids. That was really the kicker for me. It was like, if, if I could just if I get away from this shit and actually could support myself, I could actually just spend as much time with my kids as I want. And I can actually have a decent life. And that's what the freaking American dream should be about. Not this bullshit that we've got going on right now. So I'm ranting. I get it. I'm just a passionate person. And I want you to make a change. If you're suffering out there in silence, I don't want that. I don't like that. Don't do it. Come join me. I'll take care of you. Follow me on Facebook. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on YouTube. You, I'm, I'm, I can't wait for it on all of them. Okay? Uh, it's easy to join up. It's scrolling at the bottom down here. So find one of those ways. Make sure you send me your email address so I know where to send my indicators to and uh, access to the room. I, I do it every Monday. I don't care what day you pay on. You're paying, the first one you're paying is just to get access to the room and get all my stuff. The second time you're paying, you're going to pay on Monday just like everybody else. That's it. Um, come and go as you please. And if you're not, I'm going to tell you right now, if you join up and you don't communicate with me, you're not asking questions. You're not telling me that you're having problems. You're not, you're not helping yourself. Did I, there's no way I could help you. So if, if you're going to join up and you're not going to actually talk to me while you're in there, you're not going to tell me what you're having problems with. You're not going to ask me questions about what you see because there's just, there's, there's no way that you could be learning this and not have questions. Absolutely. Look at the mess that's on my screen right now. There's no way. But once you understand it, I'm telling you, you're going to make money. And I'm going to turn it into an auto trader so you won't even have to think anymore. But that's what I've got to say. Been a while. I don't really get on Facebook. <laughs> don't really get on any kind of social media. But I'm making an exception today because I want to help some people. I just had that sudden, like that epiphany moment on Wednesday when I was calling that trade and and I was walking Gunner through this $1,300 trade on one contract on the NQ through like 85 bars and no lie, I talked about every single bar. And that's what I do is I talk about talk about what the price action is doing. I forewarn you, hey, this could do this. This is what's going to do this. If it doesn't get to here, it's most likely going to slip backwards. And I know all that shit. I'm telling you, I know all of it. They call me a trade. They call me the candle whisperer. I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I like trade talker, <laughs> but um, they call me a candle whisperer because I sit there and I tell you what the candles are doing. They, they speak to me, right? And I'll walk you through the trade. And when I tell you, when, I, when it starts to look like there's some resistance there and it's about to pull back on you, you know, we get out. I give you my ATM strategies. They get 90% of the whole move, so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, they just run by themselves, so you don't even have to move your stops. Um, and all I ask is for you to have your own account for me to make trade calls with. And if it's negative, that's my fault, and I want to make sure that we figure out and make it right. Okay? So when you're out there hating on your life and you're wishing that you could change, make a change, think of me. Think of wait for it. Dude, I get hit at 70 miles per hour from behind. I woke up one day, four months later, like I went to sleep. I woke up the next day and I was like a different person. I lost all my needs, wants, and desires. It didn't even, it's like, it's like being a teenager all over again. Like when you're getting ready to go to college, you have no idea. Like, like what are you going to major? I don't know. I've never been to college. I don't even know what's out there. I grew up in a small town. So I, I definitely don't know what kind of job opportunities out there because if I'm going to use what's available here as my, as my guide to go, then I'm like, I'm going to go to work in a pickle plant or I'm going to be like a mechanic. Just God bless you. There's nothing wrong with that. 
or um, you know, I'm going to join the military or join the police force or you know, some staple job, right? Become a nurse, become a dental assistant, you know, because that's what that's what most of the people I went to school with did. Got degrees to go to do these things, right? To to fucking hate them, hate their lives. And maybe you love your life. God bless you. And if you do, <laughs> ignore this video. It's not for you. <laughs> Only want people that hate their lives. They want to they want to trade. <laughs> but if it is you, come on, man. You got a place. You got a home. Come join me. I'll treat you right. And I'll show you how to trade. That's all I got to say. This is like, wait for it. And uh, thanks for listening. Happy trading. Watch this outro. I love it. Hello, my name is Liberty Model W84IT.